carried it. And you guys know I always carry this off duty. It's always in my purse, a fanny pack, on my waistband. So I'm really excited to check this one out. <laughs> Look, I got a hack. So we're actually doing a little bit of a competition. It's super fun. Yeah, we just completed about two stages right now. We have two more to go. And it's a bunch of like fun people together, fun stages. The stage are with iron sights, the other stages are with the red dot, so it's super fun. So we're over at Terran's now. We're gonna try from the concealed position. The print, I'm like 127, 130. This is the print. You can see it right here a little bit longer than the normal size for the P365. I'm not wearing a belt because I never really wear a belt unless I'm wearing like my boots. So whatever, but look, still comes out pretty fine. Um. Obviously this one has a red dot. Typically I don't carry the red dot either. I do iron sights, but just kind of show you the full print of it. It's not that bad. That works, right? Hi, JR here from TTI. So I put a mag through it already with some of our range ammunition. So this is some double tap stuff that's usually pretty spicy. Uh, some 124s. Uh, let's just see how it feels. Normally I'm a fan of like single port comps on nine mils, but I don't know. Something about this is actually kind of working. And again, I wanted to hate it, but I don't. Compared to the 365 XL, this is our combat carry. So we can see that uh, overall length is about the same, um, but the barrel on the macro is a little bit shorter, um, as you can see here, because the ports are uh, cut into the slide. So overall length, um, uh, about the same. Um, but here's uh, the major difference. Um, the macro will take a 17 round mag. So you can see that the grip is a little bit longer. Uh, not so much to where I think it'll be a huge problem printing um, as Tony showed, but you know, very tiny noticeable difference. Is it worth it for the few extra rounds? Yeah, I think so. I don't, um, I wanted to hate it, but I don't. Um, Cause I have a love hate relationship with SIG. Sorry guys, but it's just how it is. Um, grip work is actually pretty nice. Uh, it feels uh, super comfortable. Um, I can get a high purchase on the gun as well. I actually like it. This is a pretty good gun. Pow. Okay, we just got done shooting everything. We have all three of them right here. My P365, it's just the regular. Here, we're gonna have the P365 XL. And then this is gonna be the brand new one, the P365X Macro. The regular size one, it's gonna be 10 and one. This is gonna be 12 and one. 17 and one! Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. So mostly between these two right here, this one's kind of out of play because it's the smallest of them, but we still love her very much. I love y'all seeing Honestly, just looking at the difference is kind of crazy. Look at that. Between the macro and then we have the regular size. I mean, that's a lot of bullets. I mean, it's a few. It's, it's a few. It's a handful. Uh, maybe a handful. Maybe a handful. So really, we're going to be comparing them between the XL and the macro. Like we mentioned before, a little bit earlier, are very similar, but they're different. Uh, yeah, so for me, uh, the biggest difference was uh, felt recoil, if you will. So the two-port comp actually works pretty well, in my opinion. We shot some soft stuff, 
through it, you know, comp guns, they won't want to run the softer ammo, mm -hmm. right? So we had no issues with that. Uh, we put yeah. some spicier stuff through it and obviously more felt recoil, yeah. but the shots were stacking pretty nice. I felt like mm -hmm. it returned better with some spicy 124s than with, you know, some, some bunny fart 115s. I felt it actually returned a little bit better. Um, the other biggest difference, obviously, you know, 12 and 17, like that's a big, huge difference. So the grip is obviously longer on the, on the, what is it? The X macro is what they call it. Yes. Okay. Whatever. Um, and then the, uh, then the XL, uh, they both feel pretty good in the hand. I have small hands for a guy. So either way, like I'm going to be good to go. Uh, but this does feel noticeably better. The triggers between the two, I actually like the trigger on um, the X macro slightly better. Um, I mean, from the outside, they look to be the same, um, but they do feel slightly different. So this is, it feels like it has a little bit more of a rolling break, which I kind of like with a noticeable wall um, and the reset isn't bad. Uh, so what would you rate it out of 10? Uh, probably uh, as far as carry guns go, you know, like, like the micro carry guns. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if this would be considered a compact or, or, or a subcompact. As far as like a micro carry, it's kind of in like the 7.2 to 7.8 out of 10 for me. Okay. Um, I kind of want to talk to Taryn and see if we can get like the colored uh, barrel in there and just oh, put, yeah, maybe yeah. TTI totally it out a little bit. You... Dig it. Sick. Bye. Okay, bye. Don't do drugs.